All right, welcome back to our dice poker game. Um, in our last episode, we pretty much finished the dice hand game, uh, dice hand class, and we're going to go back and flush out the runner or our dice poker class. Okay, so what we want to do is comment out the rest of this. So I'm going to put this up here. And we're just going to work with the dice hand instance. So what we want to say is put a message to the user. So we can say system.out.println. Would you like to play a game of dice poker? And then they can enter yes or no. So I'll go ahead and give them a prompt of yes or no. And then, then we want to scan in the request from the user. So we will say um, so reader dot so um, let's scan in a next line. And we'll put that into a variable called answer. And that'll be of type string. And then if um, if answer dot equals ignore case is yes, then we'll go ahead and create a dice hand for them. And else um, system dot out dot print ln have a good day. Okay, so now what we need to do is, um, it's no fun to play on your own, so we need to actually create two hands. So we'll go ahead and, instead of, um, I'll just do dice hand. You could call these like player one and player two. I'll just call them hand one and hand two. So new dice hand. And then we'll print out each hand. All right, before we go on, let's go ahead and test that. And we need an extra parentheses there. And we need to import the scanner class. So go to the top and say import java.util.scanner. And we also need to create an instance of the scanner. So scanner reader is equal to new scanner system dot plan. And let's go ahead and run it. So we'll say yes. And we get two dice hands. 
All right, so the next thing then that we want to do maybe is to create a game loop that allows the user to play more than one hand. Um, so after we um, read in the yes or no, we want to read in, um, if they say yes, we want to give a message that says, um, how many rounds would you like to play? So we can say system.out.print ln how many rounds of dice poker do you want to play? And then we want to scan in that integer. So we'll say re um, int num rounds is equal to reader dot next int. And then we need to create use a loop to create that many rounds. So we're going to say for um, you could use a while loop or a for loop. So we'll say int count is equal to zero. Um, then while the count is less than the num rounds, well, the count will go up. We'll just put in some end comments here so we can keep our curly braces straight. And then we'll tap these lines in. And we also might want to put a blank line between these rounds. So we'll do system.out.print ln um, and then just a blank. All right, so let's go ahead and um, compile this and test it. We don't have any bugs this time. So we'll run it and we'll say yes. And then we'll say three. And it is not printing our rounds for some reason. So let's see, we, we get the num rounds. We pass the num rounds into our integer. Let's see. All right, so our error here happens to be that we have a greater sign than a less than sign. So let's try running it now. We say yes, and we'll say three. And we can see that we have three different rounds. And so what we need to do in our next, um, next time is to compare these rounds to find out who is the winner in each round. That's it for this time.